Hey everyone, you are going to love this recipe because it takes less than 30 minutes to make and it's way better than Chinese takeout. We are making ginger green onion beef today and it's essentially just stir fried beef with some marinade and you serve it with rice and a side of veggies and that's dinner. I already have my rice cooking. I've washed up my veggies already and I'm going to slice up my beef. This is about a pound of beef flank steak and we're going to cut it against the grain and you can see that the grain is going well this way. I'm going to cut it into a smaller size so that I can slice it easier. And we're just gonna, we don't wanna slice it too thin because we don't want the beef to overcook. About an eighth of an inch is how thinly you want to slice the beef. And actually to slice it easier, if you throw it in the freezer for about 20 minutes beforehand, it's much easier to slice. But you know, Flo I, can't be I can't bothered. be bothered. So I'm struggling here. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself for those who are new to the channel. I'm Flo and the clown behind the camera is Dude. So when I was in college, I would buy flank steak about this size and then I would just cut it up into like smaller size portions. So I'd probably get about six portions there and that would be my meal. Well, not just that, like I'd cook it. <laughs> into different things instead of just eating the same thing over and over again. I have also taken flank steak and slice it all up like this, throw it in a marinade and then just freeze portions of that. So when it came to making dinner, I would just defrost a package of already marinated beef and I wouldn't have to do all the marinating over again. That made for really easy, simple meals. I'm just gonna put this into a bowl. And then I'm gonna go wash my hands before I marinate it. I'm adding two teaspoons of cornstarch. I'm just eyeballing guys. About a tablespoon of a Shaoxing wine. And if you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can use sherry. One teaspoon of soy sauce. And we're just going to stir this up. My great grandmother used to have a bottle of sherry that she would have a shot before bed every night. Nice. <laughs> 90 year old woman. So funny. Maybe you need to uh, take up the mantle with some, some of that bourbon in the back there. Yeah. That's what I do when you're not looking. <laughs> While the beef is marinating, I'm preparing the rest of my vegetables. I have about a thumb-sized piece of ginger that I'm slicing up thinly. I have one medium-sized onion I'm going to slice. And three green onions. I don't know where these green onions come from, but they're like huge. GMO, dude. <laughs> We're gonna cut these into one inch pieces. And I think for um, these, I'm just gonna slice them up a little bit further. Hey, did you buy anything for uh, Black Friday? <laughs> no, I'm not, a, I'm not a big shopper. Neither am I. Liar! I know for a fact that you've been buying stuff. So I find with Chinese cooking, it is best to get all of your ingredients together before you actually start cooking because the cooking part of it is really fast. So I'm preparing the sauce now. We want one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Wow! That might be a little bit more than a tablespoon. One tablespoon of dark soy. And if you don't have dark soy, you can use, just use regular soy because I've put too much oyster sauce. I won't put as much soy in. That's just me estimating. For all I know, it's more than a tablespoon. Whoops. 
<laughs> one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. Just a glimpse into my life, guys. <laughs> and if you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can use sherry, or if you don't have it at all, just omit it. It's up to you. It's not gonna make a huge difference. Two teaspoon of sesame oil. Two teaspoon of sugar. Two teaspoon of cornstarch. Two tablespoon of water. Just stir that and make sure that the cornstarch is dissolved in there. I had to bust out the whisk because my chopstick skills are not so great. I couldn't get all the lumps out. See, so much faster. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna heat up my wok. And if you don't have a wok, you can use a frying pan. Uh, just make sure that it's heated up really well. In Chinese, there's a saying that the wok needs to be heated up so that it can give it a wok flavor. And it's a kind of a smoky flavor, but in direct translation, it's like wok breath. <laughs> I think it's hot enough now. I can see steam coming up. You mean smoke? Smoke. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil and half of the beef. Just stirring this up and cooking it until it's about 80, 70 to 80% done. And then we're gonna transfer it into a bowl and get the second batch going. Okay, adding another two tablespoons of oil. Removing the second batch. Oops. Adding one more tablespoon of oil. Adding ginger. And the onions. Oh, smells so good. I love the smell of ginger and onions cooking. Whoa! We cooked it for about two minutes. I'm adding my beef back in, all the juices, and then the sauce. green onions, cook for another minute. That's it, we're done. That was fast, right? Yeah, really. You totally didn't need any fancy device for this one. No, well, a walk. <laughs> All right. Are you guys all ready for? The taste. I'm surprised you didn't hurt yourself, dude. All right, my Amera friends. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hope you're totally stocked up on that turkey and napped up from all that turkey and all shopped out from all that Black Friday shopping. Only about one thing. I don't know about you guys but I had self-control. And if you guys didn't see the message out there on YouTube, community, whatever, we marked down the Instant Pot cookbooks for Black Friday weekend out till Cyber Monday. So get on that. Oh gosh, when you're cooking that thing, I didn't realize that uh, I was hungry for dinner, you know, and uh, the smells were just, woo, it was so good. I think it started off with the beef hitting that hot wok and that flavor coming out. Of course, the burner can only put out so many BTU, 
Can you imagine those commercial stoves that they have that just, just breathe fire underneath that wok? And that's where that wok breath comes from. And so you get probably that micro charring, if that's a word, on the meat, which you won't get on you know, home burners and all that, unless you got some really fancy stove top. So let's get on it. I'm a big fan of ginger and onion. I just love the, the texture along with the protein. And so, you know, Flo puts aside the onions, like the green onions and stuff, and, and doesn't like too much of the white onions. I, I, I love it. it. Must be my Malaysian heritage. Let's go in for a bite, shall we? Can you see? All right, let's get on it. Mm. And all together now with some rice. Oh, I gotta say that the beef is really nicely flavored with the sauce and the marinade. Not salty at all. The beef is tender, which is awesome because you didn't have to fry it for very long at all. Just some high heat. And we have some uh, green leafy Chinese vegetable to go with it. And that's it for dinner and it is a fabulous dinner. I'm looking forward to it. So one more bite with both the green and the, uh, the white onion. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Rice, rice is hot. <laughs> you know, it's not a fancy meal, but it just comes together so nicely. You guys gotta try it. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm glad dude enjoyed that. What is interesting to me actually is seeing him eating out of a bowl with rice and chopsticks because this is the way I grew up eating. We would have our dishes on the table and we each get a bowl of rice. But dude, because he grew up in Malaysia and his family's from Malaysia, they eat with a fork and spoon on a plate. Not a fork and knife, but a fork and spoon. And that's how we normally eat, is with a fork and spoon on a plate, no matter what we're eating. But yeah, so it was interesting to see dude actually eating from a bowl. If you enjoyed this very simple and fast recipe, you might enjoy the other Asian and childhood favorites I have down below. And you guys are awesome. Please check out my cookbook if you haven't already. And till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.